Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing my new pour. It's called the Riot Pour. I'm going to be using a different magnetic stir bar. It's called a finned magnetic stir bar and you'll see that in the picture there. Um, it's a little bit different than my other one. I can't wait to see how this one turns out. So let's just go ahead and jump in and get started. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you the painting is dry and this is my uh, Riot acrylic pour technique and this is the second uh, experiment with that technique. Um, it's actually really fun to do. This was kind of a bigger canvas. The first one I did, of course, was like a six by six. So it's a little bit more challenging with a bigger canvas because I have to rest it. I tried to rest it on the um, little bowls or whatever that I had around it, but it didn't really work that well. So I had to take those bowls and then the canvas is directly on there. So it's kind of um, pushing up a little bit on the canvas. Um, and then it's a little bit hard to move around, so you kind of have to stay centered. So I'm kind of working on um, trying different types of uh, canvas, canvas boards. And it was kind of uh, awkward, a little bit difficult to reach the button. I don't know if you guys could see I had a, like a, a, a string um, rope that I kept pulling on to uh, try to turn the button because I couldn't reach my hand under there. So... Um, that was a little a little challenging. I'm going to keep experimenting with this technique, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you decide to try this technique, 
share it on my Facebook group, Acrylic Pouring with Friends. That way I can see all of your guys' cool paintings using the Riot Pour technique. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to um, share this video and have a great day.